This is Kurt Russman. Today I'm doing interviews with teachers trying to find out what their most embarrassing moment was teaching in a classroom. Hi, my name is Kim Gilman, and I was really excited one year. It was my first time teaching seventh grade art, and I had ordered an amazing new video from Arts and Entertainment all about the Impressionists. Unfortunately, what I expected was lots of scenes of Parisian life, and what I ended up with was a little bit more Parisian life than was appropriate for the seventh grade. Instead of seeing lovely cafe scenes, we saw probably every artistic nude ever painted by an Impressionist, which we talked about in a very mature fashion, right up until the point where they recreated with live actors an artist salon full of men in costume painting as they panned around a nude and so I had full frontal female nudity in front of a class of seventh graders at which point we could no longer have an artistic discussion about artistic portrayals of the human body and we just had to stop the video. What was best was the sympathy of my middle school principal who said, oh Kim, we've all had that experience where we didn't preview the video, I'll let you know if we get any parent phone calls. Well, I'm not aware if we ever did, but I did get requests for the second half of the video from seventh graders, not only the next day, but the following semester when I had a whole new group of kids. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kenton Kirkpatrick, and uh, one of my first years teaching social studies, we taught ancient civilizations. And as part of it, I would bring in videos to show the kids, and we'd bring in pictures as well to enhance what they were doing. Well, we're studying Israel and the ancient Israelites, and I unfortunately typed in is real instead of Israel. Uh, I did not freeze the screen at that point, so unfortunately, is real came up with a few things that were in fact real. So uh, quickly that happened, and I shut off the screen, and I apologized, uh, and so that was a bit embarrassing for me.